So if you're trying to connect a smart home device like this one right here to the Smart Life app and you can see it's blinking over here, however, the app can't seem to find it, what you're gonna need to do is you're going to have to press down the power button and hold it down until it switches modes to the Wi-Fi one, which means that the button will start flashing slowly. Next, in the app, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on this first plug here, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Even though the device I'm trying to connect is not a smart plug, this will still work. Next, you're gonna wanna click on this in the upper right-hand corner and switch it over to Wi-Fi mode. Then you're gonna wanna push next, 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 and then select that it is blinking slowly. Now just enter your Wi-Fi information and push next. You'll then just have to give it a few seconds for it to detect the network, and then it's gonna pull up this page right here, where you'll then want to click on go to connect, and that will bring you to the Wi-Fi, where you'll want to connect to the smart device. As you can see, this one is called Smart Life, and once we've gone ahead and connected to it, you can see we get the message that it's connected without internet access. Now we simply need to go back to the app and let it finish connecting the device. This process should be pretty quick, taking less than 30 seconds. However, if it ends up taking more than two minutes, you may need to repeat this process until it's successful. But as you can see, it's now successfully connected to mine. And even though we clicked on smart plug, it is showing up as a Wi-Fi light switch. Once you've renamed it, all you have to do is press done. And just like that, you are good to go.